Hey guys, bringing you another do-it-yourself video today. Uh, today we're working on a Dell Windows 10 computer uh, and we're going to be showing you how to address the problem where uh, you're using your computer. It seems like it's working fine, but then it seemingly randomly restarts. Uh, so that's the problem we're addressing today. Keep in mind this is a different problem than if you're starting your computer initially and during startup your computer keeps restarting. That's a boot loop error. That will be video number one in the description down below. Uh, also, if you're using your computer and it shuts down, but it's due to overheating. Um, if your computer's getting hot to the touch and it's overheating and shutting down, uh, you'd wanna look at our uh, overheating fix video, which is video number two in the description. Uh, this is for if your computer seems to be working, you're using it, and then it restarts uh, seemingly randomly. Also, keep in mind, check out the frequently asked questions below in the description. Uh, it could save you some time if you have any questions, if you get lost, if you're seeing something weird that we don't address. Um, if your question isn't there, leave a comment, and I try to get back to you a couple times a day at least. Uh, so to get started, let's zoom in on our screen so you can see what we're doing here. Okay, so the first thing you want to do, we're going to go down here to our little manila envelope, our file explorer, open that up. Over here on the left, this PC, we're going to right click, we're going to select manage. Over here on the left, uh, event viewer, we're going to double click. We're going to go down to Windows Logs and double click. And then we're going to go down to System and double click. Now, these are your system logs. It keeps a record of everything that happens. Uh, so we're going to find the error that coincides to the time of your computer restarting. As you can see, it, it has dates and times. So keep in mind when your computer restarted because we're looking for that error. Uh, so as you scroll down, hopefully we'll see some errors that we can grab. A lot of warnings, not a lot of errors. Looks like this computer is running well. Okay, so for the sake of argument, we're going to grab this warning and we're going to pretend that it is a error. Uh, usually it'll be in red. Um, it'll say error. It won't say warning. Um, but we're going to pretend this is an error. As you see down here, it gives you the, the details for this error. Uh, this one says, this application specific permission settings do not grant local activation or whatever. Um, what you're, the, that doesn't mean a whole lot to you. Uh, what you're looking for is a, a reason why your computer did what it did. So you're looking for something that says, um, you know, sudden power loss or battery failure. You're, you're looking for an explanation as to why your computer uh, restarted. Now, if you don't get a clean cut explanation like that, if it's kind of garbly gook, we're going to go down here to your event ID. In this case, it's 116. So I'm going to copy that. And so this is how we go in and see what we do with this. So we take that event viewer or event ID and we go to Google and we're going to Google it. Event ID. Okay, so this is a, a support Microsoft.com. This is what we want from Microsoft. Uh, event ID 116, that's the exact event ID we want. So we'll click on that. Okay, so first, Microsoft's uh, support will give us the symptoms of this. Again, we only grabbed a warning because we didn't have any errors, but you would grab your error event ID. It would give you the symptoms of this warning. One of them could possibly be restarting. Then we're gonna go down here, cause, kind of important, workaround. This is what we're looking for here, uh, is, is how to stop this from happening. Whatever caused your computer to restart, we're looking for the workaround uh, to that event ID uh, that caused your computer to restart. Uh, just as a way of an example, uh, one time I, I had a computer that restarted. I went in here this exact same way, um, found the event ID, Googled it, found out that uh, the computer was restarting because it was losing power uh, and in, 
in, in the cause up top, it said that it was losing power because of a RAM upgrade. Uh, the RAM had been upgraded a little too high for the computer. It was uh, taking too much power away from the CPU and the computer was shutting down. And then down here in the, in the workaround, it said to reverse the RAM upgrade, which means put the old RAM back in, or it said to go into BIOS, change uh, the CPU to run at low performance, uh, which I, I figured that I wanted to keep the RAM upgrade, so that's what I did, is I set the CPU to low performance in BIOS, and, and it solved my problem, my computer stopped restarting. Uh, so whatever your issue is, that's how you would do it. You would grab your event ID, you'd bring it in here, you'd look at your cause, here, and then you'd look at your workaround and how to fix it. So if this was helpful, please like and share. Uh, if you get lost at any step of the way, or if your event ID wasn't a, 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 as clean cut, if you couldn't find it here, um, if you're facing any problems, uh, let me know. I'll try to help you out. And uh, if this was helpful, please like and share again. If you enjoy do-it-yourself computer stuff, uh, please subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.